It's time, folks. It's the season one finale of X Men '97. This is Tolerance is Extinction Part Three. I forgot the title for a moment. And yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. Uh, just you, you know what happened at the end of the last episode. So very curious if the things that I talked about in the end of the last video are going to happen here and what they're gonna set up for season two. Uh, you know, I kind of predicted some some stuff. I don't want to say exactly in case people who don't know the comics don't want to know that stuff so i'm not going to say what it is but yeah subscribe some more for more x-men 97 for season two so you know to come back here for more reactions if you enjoyed your time here we got some more comic book shows coming up in the summer we got season two of my adventures with superman which has been really great if you haven't watched it i highly suggest you check it out and then we have the new batman animated series coming out on amazon in august uh it's done by bruce tim it's set in the 40s i'm very excited for it so really looking forward to that but yeah let's get to it let's watch the season one finale would we be here helping the survivors if we cared Is that scene in the bar alive? that we Magneto has talked about a couple times? They're already the best everything. Best tribe. They even fight over who's the best victim. These are tense times. He's not wrong. People do that. Not to sound like you actually are a mutant. What if I were? Run and hide. Wow. Before someone starts dreaming of camps. Likely can control them too. Bend their will. And he revealed himself to him. Metal. It bends to my will. That's a great line. Oh, wow. Rogue. Charles. How shockingly far you fall. Is Charles getting in his head right now? Come to your mind, Magnus. Ooh. Charles had the helmet on, though. A violation. You declared war against mankind. So I wonder if he got it off. Men against each other. Logan. Mm. He meant to murder me. Too many have died. Like I understand. But we both have the power to <laughs> I understand Wolverine's trying to kill him, but damn, dude, I can't believe he did it. And what happens to mutants in a blacked-out world? Evolution thrives in darkness. Wow. Store Earth's power, or I will hijack your mind and force you to do so. Oh, we talked about that in the last Psychic video. Penetration risks leaving both if it's going to lead to that. Shattered. Please turn this nostalgic. Part He's not going to listen. Then forgive me, Magnus. Dude, is he doing it? Oh wow! So he did. Okay, so he probably just took the helmet off. Oh, the music, dude. The Newton Brothers doing work. They said the soundtrack could be available very soon, by the way. The OST. Dude, see Logan? Dude, he's gonna do it. Holy crap. Oh. Wow. And because of that, he re he's, you know, it releases... Oh, there's Silver Samurai. I forgot his name before. Oh. You hear that score? Oh! Dude! Look at Iron Man! <laughs> Dare Daredevil, dude! These cameos! Poetic, isn't it? The wow. Of my vision. Oh, shit! Even now, Steven. Professor Xavier must pave the path to my dream in order to honor his own. Doctor Strange. Neanderthal 2.0. Buggy stillborns flat. Oh, I don't, dude. I think it's gonna happen with Gene. So that the tide can more easily drown you. Me. Bastion looks so badass. See me. Your creation. So many. Okay, so, oh, he's got everybody. He's got Storm. I think I saw. Her. Was that Roberto? Oh no. Charles Xavier wanted to help you. Yeah. Mother, but she was too afraid you would have been one of the first he doesn't want to hear that Your filthy paws off her. <laughs> i didn't ask for this either is destiny inside me the urges no, please take your hands off her yet another reason why operation zero tolerance must skip to final phase oh god slavery and genocide ain't enough as i told dr cooper right before she betrayed me what's final phase people are good too damn good oh no that's terrifying oh i must protect humanity from itself oh dude 
from the hearts to start dripping red at the latest time. Oh, Black Panther. Yes, dude, these cameos. So cool. Oh, wow. Mega Red. I missed what the two other two were. Oh, Psylocke. I recognize some of them. Parents likely punted you to time to skip the shame of Dude, what a great way to world build. How many times did you fail to stop me? Mm, many. Fail to save your carbon copy mothers. Make him speak, sinister. Oh, Come on, Cable. My Come on, Cable, get out of that. Snap out of it. Break three. Two hundred Two hundred Madeline Pryor. Never Phoenix. Just dead. Dude, this build up there. Oh, is this you promised this puff is my prize, Bastion. An example. You trusted him? <laughs> Dad, and has doomed it. Gene, is this Gene? Maybe you two should listen to what time. Dude, the Phoenix. About my mom. It's a Phoenix. Holy shit! Phoenix has awoken. Oh, it's happened. Oh man. <laughs> Love that. Wow. Did not choose to become slaves to hate. Damn. She just took full control. Oh, who's that one right there? Oh, I do. I recognize them. I can't remember their names. Help me out in the comments. Dude, I love the I love that Iron Man suit. Wow. Just like that. Gene. Get him, Gene. Sinister. All I do is think. <laughs> Great line. DNA you stole to stay duct taped together. She's now taking it all back. Wow. Phoenix burns away the obsolete, the underbrush of our fears and insecurities. Please, no. Dude, you're done. Oh. Oh. What a way to defeat Sinister. What a cool way to do it. Oh my god, look at him. Show me my face. Yeah. Same to me. <laughs> Morph. That was awesome. That was so cool. Oh. The Phoenix Force is gone now. But I could feel it deep inside. Interesting. To protect my son. Oh. What a moment. Dude, I love how the I love how Gene put it about him just using all that DNA to duct tape himself to keep him together. Not for me, but now you Oh, Bastion's pissed. I could have used slaves, camps, or death marches. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Jesus! Four thousand six hundred and twenty one seconds. Wow, he took it down to the seconds. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Oh. Dude, what a cool power, honestly. Wow. I will tear that rock from the Wow. And hurl it to Earth, granting humans the same. He looks awesome. Granted your clone mother a quick extinction. He's not done. Oh, man. Woo. Dude, we're only 14 minutes in. Magnus. So I wonder if they're going to do, you know, Are you next right? season. Begins with an O. Magnus, how did I get here? I can show you. I promise. But you must trust me. I don't know if Charles is going to be able to accomplish what he wants here. Don't you dare break her heart. Be the best at what you do. Oh wow! Heal. Get our injured to Muir Island, and then back it's interesting that he uh, said that. Where's Nathan? Scott, the scrambler worked, but Bastion. I'm really curious if we get to see Wolverine's actual bones. Jean, Scott, come in. Oh damn! Professor, I can. We got on a three-way call. My psychic attack shattered Magnus's psyche. Oof. I must restore it before the pain. Yeah, he, he turned Magneto into a vegetable. You're still linked with him when that happens. Both our minds will be lost. No yeah. 
In order to save the world, we must not lose him. Professor. Professor! Scott, Dude. Bastion's inbound to you. He intends to bring asteroid M down on Earth. It's gonna, it's just gonna destroy the world then. More than unstoppable. The team's gotta come together. Look at him. If he's gonna bring the sucker down, he'll blow up the gravity core. Odds may be bad, but the cards are always in the X-Men's favor. Ah! <laughs> I love that. Something Gambit would say. <laughs> Dude. This is gonna be so epic. Oh my god. I can't believe they gifted us this series. Seriously, what a gift. This has easily been one of the best things I've watched all year. Remember it! Remember it! Fuck yeah, Rogue. Oh, the tears. Rogue ain't holding back either, man. That's what I love about this. I don't know what effect it's having, though. Oh. See that? Dude, relentless. Dude, the animation going hard. Oh, that shot. Oh, look at him just reforming himself. Now it's his turn. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. So I'm saying, like, I didn't know if I was having any effect on him. I feel like he was just toying with her. Here we go, the team's coming together. The name's oh, I hear that drumming? Da -da -da. <laughs> the only language mutants understand, sir. Vote yes, and you best pray our children read their textbooks more than their Bible. Oh, Black Panther. Or only history could be conned into forgiving us. Great voice. Sir, King oh. T'Chaka is right. We know next to nothing about asteroids. Oh, T'Chaka. This could do more harm. So that's not T'Challa. Oh boy. The Magneto Protocol. I mean, that makes sense that they have something. I wonder if, they, I wonder if at some point they will go and explore an X-Men vs. Avengers scenario. While the tide of our past can drag us under, it also carries us to others who are fighting their own current. Wow. Ooh, Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver. She left me. So many did. You did. I trusted you. You said you understood. I love that these two are having their standoff in this way. This is a very cool way to do it. Countless times. After everything they've been through. But none know what this is like. Dude, the piano playing in the background? Parents. Damn. I can't see them. Ugh. Where are their faces? He has no memory of them. See their faces. Oh no. It's cold. He's about to lose them, I think. Be brave. Let the tide pull you back. Father. Those men. Boots. They took them. Those monsters. Oh no. Oh, he's losing them. Ugh. This isn't good. Oh. Not good at all. Dude. Dude, we need more help here, but not many of there's not many X-Men who can survive out here. Yes! Get him, Nightcrawler! <laughs> He's too strong. And fortunately they don't have Gene and Storm. Oh. Dude, outside of X-Men 2, the the you know, the film. Oh! This is one of, this is one of the coolest showcases of Nightcrawler's abilities. Dude, every X-Men's getting a little little time to showcase their powers here, how badass they are. Oh. Oh, he had a bit of a laser of his own. Dude, yes. <laughs> Hell yeah, Scott. I cannot wait, wait, I cannot wait to rewatch this entire series, like, all in, like, one sitting. Oh, no. I want to, I'm going to binge it one day. I haven't had that opportunity. What will you do, child? Slay me with a fourth of July. Dude, come on, Jubilee. That one before. <laughs> She's like, I'm tired of that one. Game over, nice. Love that Jubilee got a shot on him like that. Dude, they, they have seriously 
done right by Jubilee in this show. But a family that can't save itself merely works together to die alone. Behold my family. Oh no. <laughs> Here come the Sentinels. Oh! Damn! Oh, the beast of them? Forces. And irony. <laughs> I thought maybe Forge uh, worked that worked that up. Okay. Sweet. Okay, but hey, maybe he did too. Maybe he was helping out Beast and everything, but that is awesome. Oh, dude, the strength. Dude, he is fueled by hatred, though. Coolie, he is the future incarnate. Come on, team. Come on. To me, my X-Men. Dude, let's go. Dude, this build up. I, Stand down, team. I was about to say he's gonna. I was about to say he's gonna no, not engage. Do what we've been telling humanity to do for years: stop fighting the future and embrace it. Wow. The professor came to you, Bastion. If she did, it was to protect me. No. You refuse to let go, even as you're buried by what should have been. You're not alone. <laughs> wow. I massacre you freaks and you're recruiting me. I love that he's he's tried to reason with them. Fella, we could say the same about you and the dying duck that are yours. <laughs> Humanity is going extinct. They're having babies. And more and more of them like us. Oh no, yeah. Magneto protocol. Ugh. The Magneto protocols. Shit. Damn. Wow. Oh, and they still try to save him. He won't. Wait. Wow, I didn't think he would. Wow. He actually... Wow, okay. That's cool. I didn't think he would. I didn't think he would try to... Oh, Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what a save. Are about to be the biggest hit since the Ice Age. Get the forwards on the ground. Dude, again, I'm surprised. I'm shocked that Bastion tried to actually reach out. Are there other means to restore Asteroid M's orbit? Theoretically, yes. Perhaps if everyone on the... <laughs> He's ready to have a little think session during this. <laughs> Scott, you'll die. That's what you would do. It's what you've done. Yeah. Remember, Gene... Gene's already done to sacrifice. But if we all work in perfect unison, we may just spare our world a dinosaur's fate. <laughs> a dinosaur's fate as a team, yes! How will you get back? Storm. Oh, boy. Nathan. Aw. Nathan, I always swore I'd never repeat my father's mistake. The mistake I made when Madeline sent you into the future. Oh, boy. Not saying goodbye. Damn. <sighs> Rambling about the adventures of the X-Men. Getting folks inspired. I belonged in those stories too, growing up. You always were. I'll tell you, those legends really didn't do my folks justice. Damn. I love that they made time for a moment like this. Your mother told me you had my eyes. Oh, wow. Oh! They're good eyes. That's so cool. They're yours. I love you, son. Dude. Okay, Gene. It's time. Oh. Let's go. Dude. <laughs> that is... Dude, this is why this show is one of the best shows out right now. S stuff like that. All these emotional moments are so earned. Listen to the score. The theme. Hmm. Oh! <gasps> no shit! That was Peter and Mary Jane. It looked like Flash Thompson behind him. I love that Morph is the one next to him. But I can't. I love you, Logan. Stay with me. Wow. Oh, dude, the theme right now. The asteroids reach in terminal velocity. But the chorus. Power to escape Earth's gravity. Oh, 
That's awesome. You were a boy when you lost your family. Wow. That is why you can't see their faces. So many nights scrolling a fantasy. Oh, okay. So he never, he can never remember it. The X-Men and I may not resemble each other, but we are still family. Like Charles trying to tap into his humanity. And like that dream, any family worth having is worth fighting, fighting for. Cool. Your name is Professor Charles Xavier. Wow. He got to him. Our Eric Magnus Lenscher. Oh, that's awesome. Remember what he was meant to do. Come on, man. Wow. Dude. Magneto lives. Dude. Magneto lives. Holy shit. The emo just, oh my god, just so much emotion, man. Just tied into so many things happening. The X-Men are heroes. Everything Bastion wanted to happen. Everything he, the way he wanted humanity, you know, humans to see. Mutants. This goes against everything. He failed. But, wow. They're gone. After E-Day. And rumors still swirl about the fate of the X-Men. Wow. There's Colossus, Iceman. Howdy. Oh, there he is. A damn fool walking in here like we're friends. Oh, we're friends. Where have you been? Just not yet. Name's Lucas Bishop. Moving on mighty fast there. Mm. I worked for months. I couldn't find a trace of them. X-Men are dead. <laughs> Luckily, this ain't our first time at the X-Men are dead. <laughs> I imagine. But it's less a question about where and yeah, more. So when? when yeah i was about? gonna say they went something or someone yanked our friends through time and now we gotta go rescue the x-men yeah who though see i don't know actually i don't remember Hank? apocalypse <laughs> maybe <laughs> 3000 bc oh boy well we got ourselves a time travel story yeah we're here what in kansas <laughs> Oh, they're in different points. 3960 AD. We're not alone. Right now. So Gene and Scott aren't with them. I'm, I'm in the dark right now. Oh, Magneto's with them, though. I'm kind of in the dark here right now. At least I don't remember. It might come to me later. You're a long way from Crest Coast, Sapien Cast. You may call me Mother Ascani. Leader of Clan Ascani. Ascani. No need to be afraid. Nathan. Oh. Come. Nathan. Wow. Holy crap. My name is N Saban. There's apocalypse. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh damn. Wow, dude. Next season. Is gonna be oh a oh dear to be continued. I'm so happy there's another season, and they're already talking about a season three. Okay, so I'm cutting in real quick because good thing I caught this. I didn't know there was additional footage after the first part of the credits. Oh my god, you all wouldn't let me hear the end of that if I didn't record this and miss this. So we're gonna watch it right now. Oh my god, I, I can't believe I did that. Present day Genosha. Ooh. So much pain, my It's Apocalypse. Friend. Holy shit. There he is. So much. Oh. Death. Is he gonna resurrect Gambit? <gasps> yeah, that's what he's doing. Oh my god, I'm so glad I caught that. I'm so glad I realized there was a credit scene there. It looks like he's gonna resurrect Gambit and make him death. That's probably what's gonna happen there. Okay, I just wanted to cut in real quick. Uh, just to let you all know, I did catch it. All right. <laughs> so, but yeah, uh, back to my thoughts in my in my review. So I'm not entirely familiar where they might be going here, 100. percent So, um, so there was apocalypse there at the end. <laughs> that took a nice little reveal there. When I mean, when I saw Egypt, uh, 
when I saw Egypt, uh, 3000, what, uh, BC, wherever it said, I don't remember what it said. Uh, I was like, oh, it's probably Apocalypse, but I'm not exactly sure. I don't know 100%. I don't remember. So, I mean, I'm kind of happy I'm in the dark here. What did that? What put them through time? So I wonder if they're going to do an Age of Apocalypse storyline or not. Wow. What a fin- what a what a season of television. Honestly, like. <laughs> they they knocked it out of the park like seriously this is a 10 out of 10 yeah you know what i yeah I, yeah i get i get the the bit of the criticism that they had that felt they had to rush some storylines but i'm okay with that because i felt they were well adapted yeah a bit rushed but still well adapted and i you know what every episode i felt like the writers right they were writing these episodes like writing and animating these episodes like it was their last episode like you know what I mean? You know, you know, you know, you know what I mean when I say that? Like there I felt they were like maybe at the time, and we don't know if we're getting multiple seasons. Maybe we only got one shot at this and we're gonna make it every second count. I said it earlier. I love that the show took so much time to let things breathe. I like that you have these like small emotional character moments and it makes the action matter that much when certain things happen to certain characters, when characters get to do certain things, when you get those badass moments where everyone gets to showcase what they do. They did such a good job of just making, making that matter. And it's because we got to know everybody and, oh man, just, I didn't, I I didn't know. I just didn't know what to expect when this show, when they announced this show, I didn't think it was, I didn't know. I just didn't know. None of us did. We didn't think it was going to be this. This is incredible. It's 10 out of 10, A plus, plus, plus. I thought they tied the bash and stuff up really nicely. I love that the X-Men got to show themselves to be the heroes and save the world and undoing everything Bastion planned. Uh, I love that they had the opportunity to do that. The Magneto lives moment. Oh, I love that Charles got to him. So de- definitely not onslaught. It looks like I, I think they got people's expectations. I think they purposely put our expectations towards that, like making us think that's what they were doing. And they kind of flipped it around on us. So I like I like that they did that. I like that Charles got to Magneto and, you know, kind of getting back on his side. Uh, again, that Magneto lives moment. So epic because that's who they need it. Now, I don't know for sure if someone put them through time or not. I don't know if that had that if that was Nathan doing that or planning that because the fact that Gene and Scott are not part of the rest of the group makes me think possibly Nason and um who is he with here? I don't recall the Ascani. I can't I can't I can't pinpoint that one. And dude, just the amount of cameos in this one. Again, a great way to world build, right? Even Morph gave us Mr. Fantastic, which was really cool, but we saw a lot of people. You know, we saw Daredevil, we saw, you know, Captain America again, we saw Iron Man, we saw I'm forgetting people already. Uh, we saw Peter and Mary Jane again. I think that was Flash Thompson behind him. They 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 threw some characters out here, which was really neat. Again, really cool way to do some world building there. I love that Iron Man suit, by the way. Seeing Dare, dude, the way they're animated, they look so cool. Oh, yeah, Doctor Strange. That's right. We saw Doctor Strange. Oh, and we got to see the Phoenix again. I wonder if the Phoenix was going to come out again and. Looks like she had nice full control of it. Seems like that was like the last bit of maybe that was still there. I was like wondering if they were going to do something more with the Phoenix there and kind of lead into like an X-Men vs. Avengers. Oh, we saw Black Panther again. We saw T'Chaka. That was awesome. Like, God, dude. Well done. Super great show. Super, super awesome show. Just And now we got the setup for next season, man. We're going to have them going through time. We're going to have Forge and Bishop going on a search for the X-Men. So that's going to be really neat. Oh my god, I just thought I forgot about Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. We I mean they were kind of shadowed, but very cool stuff. Sorry, I'm just like looking through. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm glad I'm so excited that they're in Egypt and they're seeing meeting like apocalypse before it became becomes apocalypse. That's so cool. Oh man, great show. Thank you all for again for joining me on this journey through X-Men 97. Uh I hope it was as much fun for me as it was for you watching these reactions and 
I loved reading all your comments and engaging with you on the comments, talking about theories, where we think things are going. Uh, you kind of enlightened me on some stuff that I maybe got wrong or I couldn't remember. I really do appreciate that. So I hope you did enjoy your time here. Ugh, I'm going to miss it. Wednesdays are not going to be the same <laughs> until season two. I'm going to assume season two will be on Wednesday still. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I want them to do it on Saturday morning, like Saturday morning cartoons. But I, I prefer Wednesdays because I, I have to work on weekends. <laughs> I'm being selfish. But yeah, folks, thank you so much for hanging out and watching uh, this entire season of X-Men 97, especially this finale. Hope you enjoyed the video. So don't forget to like the video. Uh, let me know in your comments, uh, any theories, thoughts. How'd you feel about the finale? How'd you feel about the season as a whole? I would love to read your thoughts on it. And definitely subscribe for more X-Men 97 when it comes back in the future so you don't forget this channel when they uh, come out. Obviously, we're going to react to it. And if you're looking for more comic book stuff, we got My Adventures of Superman Season 2 coming up, like I said before. If you haven't watched it, highly recommend it. It's a great adaptation of Superman. And then we got the new Batman animated series coming out in August. Uh, Bruce Timm is back doing Batman. They set it in the 1940s. I love that idea. I'm super pumped for that. So yeah, stay tuned for that as well. I'll see you when I see you. Check out some of the other shows I'm reacting to on the channel. We got Smiling Friends, One Piece, Adventure Time, uh, whatnot. Definitely check that stuff out. But yeah, I'll catch you all later. Bye.